Hi everyone. Today I have another piece from Lee Williams. Um, it is a kickstop slant line. And this one is very, very beautiful. Um, this one was bought from a collector who's had it for a really, really long time actually. And I, you know, I've always wanted this piece because I thought it looked so cool. You know, the slant line model is one of Lee's most famous models, and, you know, rightly so. I mean, the, the shape of the knife is extremely beautiful, and it's just very well made. So this is actually, you know, after handling this, I can tell that this is one of Lee's earlier pieces, not the earliest ones. But definitely, you know, there is a difference between this and the, and the newer pieces, and we'll, we'll get a little bit into that. Um, let's start off with the blade. This is Damasteel again, with a nice Lee Williams um, etching of the maker's mark. The slat line usually doesn't have this nice tan tilt tip, but on this piece, Lee does put the tan tilt tip on here which is very cool. Their bolsters are made from zirconium and same with the screws. With, you know, the hardware is blue anodized on both sides. Um, it is a liner lock and the fitment is quite good. Um, let's see here. So see, this is the back, back space, uh, I guess. The spine of the knife you can see the fitment of the materials here is quite good um, blue standoffs here and the liners themselves are orange peeled um, I really like this actually I you know it, and this dark blue is 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 quite nice as well So, you know, why why do I say that I think it's an earlier piece? Number one, I think the blade stock is thicker than any any Lee Williams that I've seen. Um, I think he usually uses thinner blade stocks these days. That might just be coincidence. Um, maybe the person who got it wanted a thicker blade stock. I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, it does, it does feel different now that it's got a larger blade, I guess, thicker blade. Um, usually it's very thin and very slicey. This one's more of a tank. Check out the grind, plunge grind here. Very well done. The lock up, also perfect with no stick. The, oh, another thing which you know sets it apart is that in the newer ones it's a little bit easier to get it past the detent ball um, but it is very tightly fit so centering is still perfect action is super fast wonderful you can see that there's a little bit of a hang up but it, it fires out very nicely. Um, I love the carbon fiber scale here. This type of carbon fiber is just very cool. One of my favorite patterns actually. Um, oh, the pocket clip um, is actually black and titanium. Usually, you know, only zirconium can be so, so, like as black as this, but Lee's black and titanium is nearly as, as black as the zirconium albeit a little bit more shiny and he orange peeled it which makes it very very scratch resistant so that's a very nice touch yeah i mean lee's always been super well known for his amazing actions and uh, you know even the earlier ones don't disappoint i guess that's why he's so well known it just fires out like a rocket. Um, 
feel very good in the hand. I'm just not used to a, a slightly thicker Lee Williams on there. You know, it's a little bit stubby. There we go. I also noticed that this one is, it's, you know, it's smooth, you know, no hang up, but in the, it feels more buttery smooth, whereas in the new ones, I, it's more glass smooth. So the diff the different, uh, the feeling is also different. You know, I've also, I've handled another old Lee Williams and it also feels the same way. It's, I'm not sure if it's the way he does the detent ball um or the detent track itself but you know it, it feels great but you know it's it's just different so yeah i mean just wanted to show you guys one of the very rare knives you know a very nice slant line model pimped out in one of my favorite material combinations black white Damas steel, just very lovely. I hope you enjoy, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions on this knife, yes, just leave uh, the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.